When using a ZP2 panels with firmware version 3.7 or higher, if you have had a loop fault and the fault is now been fixed, to be able to clear the loop fault condition, you must reset the panel using a installer code. If you reset the panel using an operator or a maintenance code, the panel will still display a fault condition after the panel has been reset. I will demonstrate this now by resetting the panel using an operator code. As you can see after the reset, the panel will still report the loop fault. So to clear the fault, first make sure that the LED next to the reset button is not lit. As this will mean that there is a user already logged into the panel. You can log out of the panel by pressing F4 to select main menu. Then press F3 to select logout. Now press the reset button. Now select a user that has an installer level credential then press the jog dial button. Enter the code for the selected user then press enter, or push the jog dial button. Now the panel will reset and clear the fault condition.